Okay, there we go. Uh, hello, welcome, welcome. I have never been less ready for a baking stream in my life, if you can't tell. I didn't check the lights, I didn't check the mic, so if the mic needs to go up or down, please let me know. Um, I might move the lights if they bother me enough. I don't think that's where it should go. I kind of just dragged it in here. You wouldn't believe how many things I did in the last five minutes. Hi, Kat. Oh, Kat was coming in to say hi, but then she saw the giant dangling mic cord and she got scared. Oh, man. I usually watch streams on my TV where I can't see a chat panel, so it mustn't count. Is there any way to give you a pet in game, free to keep, or if you want to give it away in your giveaways? Um, if you want to, you can. Um, if you can mail them to Hazel on Lightbringer, um, and you can pretty much guess how to spell Hazel, and you'll probably get one of my characters, but it's H-A-E-Z-E-L-L-E. -E -E. Um, I have most pets, not all of them, I have most pets, but I have um, a little box in my bank that I use to um, store pets that we give away on uh, WoW gameplay streams, so that's always a good thing. Also, Kristen, um, I got your mail, I haven't opened it, and I will open it. Um, in the next mail time video, I don't know when that will be, but I just want you to know that it made it. It, it definitely made it. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. What's up, Vulcron? And Maddie? You got a Mythic 5 Helm this morning? I have a little 920. Dang, that's a nice, nice Titan Forge. Where do I get the pets for Thanksgiving? Um, the, the regular turkey is from the meta achievement, and then the bush chicken is a random rare drop. I think it's 3% drop rate, and that comes from the Pilgrim's Cache that you have as an option to receive when you do one of the Pilgrim's Bounty cooking daily quests. I am going to do a Pilgrim's Bounty video. I didn't do it yesterday because I was busy and because um, there's nothing new. There's nothing new in Pilgrim's Bounty this year, so it's very much just like a recap, but I'm going to try and put something together this afternoon. Um, is this for second Thanksgiving? Is you and I both know the real one is in October? Exactly. This is for second Thanksgiving. Um, and I know a lot of you, or I don't know how many of you, but I know at least some of you are not from... Um, territories that celebrate Thanksgiving, and that's just fine, you know? You can enjoy pumpkin pie at any time of the year. Oh, man. Um, are you wearing contacts today? No, I don't actually um, need glasses. I The glasses that I wear on my um, gaming streams, those are gaming glasses. So those are just, um, like, tinted glasses to help prevent eye strain. That's all that is. I see, I see real good. Happy Turkey Week, thank you. Hey, Hazel, I managed to get on time to see you live from start today. Yay, woohoo! All right, so I need to get moving. And then I'll tell you all about why we were like three minutes late and why I have done such a hack job on my makeup and why the light is over there and why my mic is probably all bad. Um, I, have some, I have some Animal Crossing stories. So I need to find the recipe. Oh, you know what the first thing we need to do is we need to start by making some pie dough, pie crust pastry dough, because um, I need to let it chill for a little bit. And this wants me to use half a batch of the flaky pie dough from the Warcraft cookbook. That is probably a great recipe, but I have never been able to make it work. Most likely through fault of my own, but I did find a different recipe that I've made a couple times now that works well enough for me. Um, it uses actually milk instead of water, which was interesting, but it's been working for me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what works, and I'm going to start mixing that up right now. So um, I probably do this technically wrong, but again, everything I do here has been... Uh, specifically adjusted because I know because I've tried it and I know it works so I need my food processor I need a big bowl oh man it's probably for the best that uh, the lighting is a little weird today because nobody needs to see this makeup up close I did this in like two and a half minutes and I don't think any amount of concealer can conceal the fact that I did not sleep um, not for bad reasons, for very good reasons, but okay, so bowl, food processor. I need one and a half cups of flour. I should really be double checking this. I wrote it down. I should be double checking it. Do I want to do that? Do I have my, I don't know. I'm just going to wing it. I think I know what I'm doing. Famous last words. How are you guys doing? Happy Tuesday. Do you guys have, um, those of you that are in Thanksgiving celebrating territories, do you guys have any like cool Thanksgiving plans? You got like crazy family get togethers or... Quirky, quirky, like, family-free rituals if you're not near your family. Hi, Hazel. Cheers from Brazil. Welcome. You guys are so lucky to get an official extension on pumpkin season. I just seem crazy still buying it in the UK. I mean, maybe it was just my family, but even back in Canada, we used to have pumpkin e desserts at Christmas, didn't we? Maybe not. Maybe pumpkin really goes out of style after Thanksgiving's over. Okay, so there's one cut. I still don't have a food scale. It's on my list of things to get one day. It's not very high on that list. Uh, it should be higher. And then one half cup. And I'm also going to do 
one teaspoon of salt and then uh, at least one if not two tablespoons of sugar because I'm making a sweet pie so I want like a sweeter pastry crust. So here's my teaspoon of salt which is like a lot but you know we got to follow our hearts and sometimes our hearts are salty. Okay one teaspoon and again you shouldn't well not again I never said this before but you shouldn't measure over the thing you're going to dump it into like this because if you spill then you've ruined it all but I don't learn from my mistakes. All right, well, that's close enough. Um, that's about a teaspoon. And then my sugar is down here. Ugh. All right. Two, eh, one, two, or just one. I don't need it to be incredibly sweet crust. I think the filling is gonna be fairly sweet. There's like a lot of honey in this pumpkin pie filling. So I don't think we're gonna be, I think, I think a good tablespoon will do it. And then I gotta get my butter in there. So I think the problem that I used to have when I was mixing together pie dough, because I could never get it to come together, like no matter what I did, it was just like a big pile of flour. Um, I think I wasn't blending my butter in far enough. Like I was so worried about over blending it that I was under blending it and that was causing it to not come together. And I was also using not enough liquid. I, I use a little more liquid now. Um, hi Hazel, how are you doing today? Welcome over. I am doing phenomenally. I am great. Wonder if they're gonna do a discount day in the Blizzard Gear store. It's like discount week right now. They have different promotions going on every day. Um, there's like a wow, um, there's like a day where there's 30% um, off. I think it was actually yesterday, so I shouldn't tell you about this, but there was like 30% off wow apparel yesterday. Ooh, I didn't get anything. I ordered my, um, I ordered a Alec plush and then the shadow plush a couple days ago. Cause I just like, I saw that they were taking the Blizzard uh, or the BlizzCon loot off the store, at least for, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know for how long, so I had to get the Alec plushie, I just couldn't let it pass me by. And then I also got the Shadow plushie too, because you know, it's charity, and it's fluffy, and it's got a light up rune in its forehead. So I need to work quickly. I'm going to ignore you guys for a little bit, just while I'm getting this pie dough together and in the fridge, because if it heats up too much, which it will if I chatter, um, then I'm going to have some problems later. So we're going to plop in this butter. Give it a good... I'd rather overdo it than underdo it, to be completely honest with you. Uh, more. Definitely more. Oh, oh, it's so, it's so fluffy. There we go. That'll do it. That will do it. So I take that, I dump it into my bowl because I can't do anything in this bowl. Ooh. Flour just sticks to this thing. There you go. And then we're going to start mixing in with a big spoon. I'm going to take a big old spoon and start mixing in some milk, one tablespoon at a time. And I usually use like between three and four of them. And the milk is already cold because it was already in the fridge. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. I will definitely do a third, I might do a fourth. So one, it sounds like a lot, and it is two. But I swear I've gotten good results with this before. Not amazing, but for somebody that has problems with pie crust, I'm just happy if I can get the darn thing rolled out, you know? All right. I'm gonna make this into dough. Quickly, quick, quick, quick. That was what, two, three? That was two, and then we need a third. See if I can make this into dough from here. How are we doing over here? You can finally catch a stream and not a VOD. Welcome, Strasbourg. You're making a guild in Moonguard US, the Project 60 guild. Hazel, you enjoying pocket camp? Yeah, yeah, I am. I, uh, I, so last night I was supposed to go to bed at a reasonable hour, but I was actually up anyways. I ended up queuing some twos with my buddy last night and we stayed up a little late and I was going to bed and it was like one something in the morning and uh, I was brushing my teeth and while I was brushing my teeth, I was looking at the Animal Crossing pocket camp discord and just reading their news because I've been doing that kind of obsessively over the last like three weeks. Like kind of obsessively. <laughs> I have a problem. Um, but I was reading that and there was like a bulletin and it was like alert, alert, alert. There are widespread reports that this game is now available early, which is funny because they said it was going to be out on the 22nd. And you know, 1 a.m. on the 21st is in nowhere in the world. The 22nd, like I, it almost felt like they messed it up because it wasn't like listed, listed. You had to go 
you had to either have a link or like find Nintendo. Like I, I couldn't get it through a regular search. I think you can now. But anyways, it was up just really oddly. So I like stop everything and I'm super hyped and I download it. And it wasn't working last night. Like when it first went up, the servers had some issues. I'm gonna squish this with my hands now. And um, the servers were having a day. So I couldn't play last night. And I eventually, eventually get to sleep around like 2.30 in the morning. And then I wake up at like 5.30 and I'm like, is it up yet? Is it up yet? Is it up yet? Can I play? Can I play? Can I be a pocket camper? And uh, I get out of bed and I grab my phone and it's working. I'm like, oh man. So I uh, came out to my living room so I didn't wake up my husband and just like played hours of pocket camp this morning, which is funny because after a little bit of time, you know, you run out of stuff to do. All right, I think this is enough liquid. It's still very shaggy, but that's fine. I just need it to come together enough for me to wrap this in plastic and put it in the fridge. We're almost there. But yeah, I, I've been having a great time. I posted my friend ID code on my Twitter. If any of you want to add me, um, I'm going to be pretty active. If my friends list ends up filling up, then I'll be purging people based on anybody who's inactive. But um, if you, I'm going to be around to like help with market requests. And I'm trying to always keep my market box filled with things that people might need for a reasonable price. I'm just so excited. I can't even. Um, hi, Hazel, are you going to play Classic? No, not a chance. Not for me. Not for me. I'm very happy for the people that are excited for it, but that is not my ball game. Oh, boy. Okay, I think that's close. That's kind of dough-like. It'll do. It'll do. All right. Um, put this away. Maybe once I get my hands washed. Get some plastic wrap out here because this is going to chill for like minimum 15 minutes. I guess I'll just chill it until whenever I need it because I probably cannot get this filling together within 15 minutes. You should be able to, but I don't think I've ever come within like half of a time recommended allotment on a recipe card. I always take way, way, way too long. Okay, so got a nice little dough ball here that's actually dough. I've done this before and I've just like given up and making it come together and I've wrapped it up as like a pile of flour and I'm very happy with this. That should roll out just fine. So at least 15 minutes in that, so that's gonna bring us to like 10.30. I'm gonna wash my hands, clean up a little bit, catch up on chat, and then check out to see what we need to do to get the filling together. Ugh, I'm so happy. I had a hard time pulling myself away from it this morning to like come get ready for the stream, which is why everything was a little bit rushed. But you know, we're online. We're making pie. What else, what else do we want from life? Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's take it out here. If you can ever see into my fridge, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's pretty much as messy as a fridge can be without having like health hazards and without having a lot of food. <laughs> like I don't keep things that aren't like current. I throw things out when they need to get thrown out, but I just don't organize it in any way. Like when I'm putting something in the fridge, I just put it in the fridge. It's a really terrible habit. Cause then I look at the fridge later and I'm like, how am I supposed to ever find something in here? This is terrible. Who did this? And I realized it was me, hundred percent me. When I worked in a bakery, we made croissant. We put everything in the fridge, including the blades. It saves you a lot of dough, uh, is going to hot anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. I heard of people putting like their, like you said, the blades, the bowls, the flour, everything in the fridge. Um, I'm not stressing about it that much. Worst case scenario, the crust is like not the, the not heaven in your mouth. Um, it's not going to be gross. It's just the texture might suffer a little bit, but it'll be fine. I'm not I'm not like bringing this pie to Thanksgiving. I think I'm just eating it. <laughs> My fridge is empty. I'm so hungry. Oh no. Okay, should I do these dishes now? Am I? Is this going to get out of hand? What is my next step? I didn't read this. I've made this before, but it was a long time ago, and it didn't turn out very well because I did it wrong, I think. Okay, so crust, crust, crust. All right, so for the filling, we're going to combine some spices, honey with eggs, um, add in the pumpkin, followed by the evaporated milk, stir gently until it combined, and then pour into a pre-baked pie crust. Okay. All right. I'm going to clean the dishes then because that doesn't sound like it's going to take too long. I'm going to clean the dishes and then mix up like the spices and stuff. Hopefully this sets. It calls for almond meal and I can't put almond meal in it because that will kill my husband. So I'm just going to not. We're going to find out. We're going to find out how that goes. Um, are her legs tattooed? Looks awesome. No, these are, um, uh, I would like to get leg tattoos at some point, but these are the, uh, the, um, Nosdormu, Nosdormu Warcraft leggings. I have them with shorts on today and they're just, they're just so comfy and warm. If I send you an in-game pet, I have to make a character in Lightbringer. 
Uh, yes, that's true. Um, are there any pets you don't have? There's a couple or not a lot. Um, the best way to find, the best way to check the list is um, if you look at my armory, um, Hazel on Lightbringer, H-A-E-Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E, you can see my whole collection of pets there. Um, pies need wheat and milk. Vegans can't drink milk. Have you ever made a vegan pie? Um, no, no. I should learn how to do that because um, since I left Canada, it was funny. My fam I used to be the only veggie inclined one. I'm a pescatarian, so I'm not super, I don't have a super hardcore diet, but I also don't eat like beef or pork or chicken or anything like that. Um, and for a long time, I was kind of strange in that, and they all had regular, regular diets. And then after I left, they're all vegan now. <laughs> I left the country and now they're all vegans. It's very strange. So I should learn how to do that if I ever want to cook for them, if I ever go home. I'm a little sad I don't get to go home for Christmas this year, but maybe maybe next year. I don't know. We'll see. Traveling is very expensive. Ugh. And I do actually get to see some family, um, some different family, but I get to see some family for Thanksgiving. I'm going to be out of town. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm going to be out of town on Thursday. Um, we're driving up to see, um, out of state to see um, uh, my in-laws, uh, my, my, my mother and father-in-law. And we're going to have Thanksgiving dinner with them, and that's very exciting. It's going to be kind of a long drive, but I have Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I'm hoping I can play in the vehicle. Um, the two things that might stop me from doing that are, one, it requires a constant data connection, so if the data gets spotty between here and where we're going, then that could be a problem. And it has gotten spotty before. And then the other problem is that I get terribly, terribly motion sick if I try and read in a vehicle. I don't get motion sick just on average, but if I try and read anything, I'm just done. And there's a lot of reading in pocket camp. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe can replace some soy milk. <laughs> Hi from the hospital. Hi, Martha. I hope you're okay. Soybean extract for screening. I'm kind of like averse to both soy and rice milk. I should try them again because I, I was kind of turned off to them as, as a kid. Um, I went through a phase where my family thought I couldn't have any dairy products, um, which it turned out thankfully to be not true. But I went through like a year of my childhood life where they thought that was true. So I had to have like rice milk and soy milk and I was just like, this is all terrible. This is not what I want. Because <laughs> I, I drank a lot of milk as a kid. I still do. What does the uptime bot command do? It just tells you how long the stream has been live for. So you can find out how long, how long we've been going. Who plays video games in a car? People on really long road trips that are bad at small talk. <laughs> AKA me. Uh, Hazel's two name on Lightbringer. I can type it out for you in just a second. It's, it's got a lot of vowels in it. I don't blame anybody for not knowing that. It's kind of ridiculous. There's only so many ways you can spell Hazel, and I have to get like eight of them. Uh, do, 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 do. Good morning, Hazel. How's it going? Good morning, Danielle. Uh, H-A-E-Z-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. There we go. Um, it is going great. Great. I'm actually really excited for pumpkin pie. I'm really hungry. I was supposed to eat breakfast. I didn't. You know, pocket camp is more important. <laughs> I fed all the animals their fruit in pocket camp. Does that count? <sighs> Greetings from Texas. Hey, Jacob. How are you doing today? If I had a Switch, I'd play Skyrim in the car. Oh, true. Um, we, have, we don't have a Switch, but we have a Wii U. Um, and we have... Why do I forget the name of it right now? The new Skyrim. We have the new Skyrim on the Wii U. I've played a bunch of it. I didn't finish it or anything, because I'm really, really, really bad at finishing Zelda games. Like, I never, ever finish them. But um, I played a whole bunch of it. I really liked it. It was definitely my favorite. What the heck is it called? I should know this. I played it not that long ago. It's not Skyward Sword. That was the Wii one. With the choo choo choo. Flour could work if you need grain. Gluten and nut free. Perhaps go grab some cookies. Uh, I don't have any cookies. Do I have cookies? No, I don't have cookies. Um, I'm not actually all that hungry. I'm, I will be excited for pie when I get it, but maybe I'll have some toast later. That sounds like a useful command for viewers. Do you stream on Twitch as well, or just on YouTube? Thanks. Hi, Kyle. Um, I do not stream on Twitch anymore. I used to, but I just stream on, on YouTube now. I like to keep it all on the one platform, and this one has been working out really well for me. Okay, so we washed the dishes. That's good. I need some tea. Where'd my mug go? Oh, I washed my mug. I didn't mean to do that. I was going to put more tea in it. Sorry. Uh, it's fine. Nothing broke. <laughs> 
I need tea. I need tea in this. I made some tea earlier this morning. I have, um, this is just a black tea, but it's like a peach flavored black tea. I'm on a flavored black tea kick. I thought I was past that phase, but I've like re relapsed into it and it's so good. There we go. It's just a little bit of milk. Doesn't even need any sugar. Just a little bit of milk. And then we'll get to mixing up, um, we'll get to mixing up, did I? Oh, I lost my, there, there's my milk. The spices and the filling. I don't want to like mix all of the filling together until we've started the pre-bake process on the crust, which is going to be a bit, but I can get the rest of it together. Combine spices and honey with eggs, add in pumpkin. All right, so I can at least measure the spices. They want two teaspoons of holiday spices, which themselves consist of... I'm really excited for when we get into the, um, the Hearthstone cookbook baking streams. I want to try some of those. There's a cheesecake recipe in there. There's cheesecake. Cheesecake. What am I doing? Spices. I think it's just cloves and cinnamon and ginger and nutmeg, which is what I put in everything. Ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. Oh, and pepper. Pardon me. Okay. So if I amp that up a little bit, because I always go a little heavy on spices because I like very, I don't, I don't want bland pie. Like that's just sad. Uh, like a half a teaspoon each of those things. So let's get a bowl going. Um, does it need to be as big of a bowl? What kind of a bowl? I guess I could actually do it in this. I can do it in the, in the food processor. Or not the food processor, the, uh, the mixer. Okay, so let me find my spices. I know I have ginger, cinnamon. I got cloves recently. I actually ended up, ow, ooh, scooch, oops, my bad. I actually got whole cloves. I wonder if I can use those. I didn't mean to get them, but it just happened. You know how this goes. A bit more milk. Where can I buy the WoW cookbook? Amazon. Um, you can get it in the Blizzard gear store, but you want to get it on Amazon if you can, and you should be able to. If you check um, the description of this, of this video, the description of the stream, there should be a shop link, either a cookbook link or a shop link, and it should be top of my recommendations. Um, the prices are usually lower on Amazon, which is why I say Amazon. They, like, I got the Hearthstone cookbook for like 13 bucks on Amazon. Also, that reminds me, I need to do something. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I fixed it. Okay, good. Lucky I was sick today, I wouldn't be able to watch. We are gonna make some, some magical, okay, it does say ground cloves. I can't use the whole cloves. Maybe I'll like sprinkle a whole clove on top or something. Okay. But yeah, the, the WoW cookbooks are really great by, you could make, um, and I've seen people do like entire Thanksgiving menus. There's like a, there's like a roast turkey and all the sides. It'll teach you how to do stuffing and spice bread and pumpkin pie. And like, you could do, you could do the whole thing. I like that mug. Thanks. Me too. Also, I forgot that I was, I forgot that I had that my straw. That is not hot anymore. Hang on. Tea emergency. What am I doing? I'm measuring spices. I don't know where to put this. There we go. She wants you to use your link because she makes money from it. I mean that too. I think I make like 28 cents off each WoW cookbook sale, but you know, 28 cents is 28 cents. But yeah, um, if you're if you're not in America, I don't think my affiliate link will work for you. I just want you to check Amazon. Um, pumpkin pie stream. I was worried I'd miss it. I'm gonna bake one too. Awesome, awesome. Have you made one before? Because I'm not very. Uh, I'm not 100% convinced this is gonna go well. I'm hoping so. All right, there's some cloves. So what did I say? A half a teaspoon each. Half teaspoon each of cloves, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon. Do I have nutmeg? What do I ever use nutmeg in? Mm. It sounds like something that I've probably lost in the tea section of my cupboard back here. Oh, no, that's marjoram. Oh, I do have marjoram. I don't know why I wanted it, but apparently I have it. Oh, I need a spice rack. I need to just, like, get myself a spice rack because this is out of control. I can never find my spice. Oh, nutmeg. Ah. I jinxed it. I wish Pilgrim Bounty exists, like in real life, because I mean it is in game right now. I was thinking of getting the tea bowl cup on your Amazon recommendation list for myself for Christmas. Um, if you do that, be 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 advised. It is a it is a tea cup. Um, they're like here. Actually, I have it. They're small. This is this is the size of it. It fits in your hand. It is. It says tea bowl, which makes you think it's like big. It's not big. It's tiny, but it's perfect. I love it for my pores. 
which is why I put it on that list. Ugh. I wasn't sure about that um, teacup seller because they didn't have very many reviews, but I bought a couple of their things now and they've been really good. Okay, there's tea. I'm finally going to actually put the spices in the bowl. So where's my teaspoons? Spoons. Half a teaspoon. This one. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves. I think I should have more cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger than cloves. So just a, well, a little bit less cloves and then just a little bit of pepper. So cinnamon. So hungry I could eat the whole feast. And I gotta figure out what I'm doing for lunch. One of these days we might, like once we get into the Hearthstone cookbook, we might end up making things that are like not desserty that I could just like do a, do a 10 a.m. cooking stream and just make myself lunch. Uh, ginger. Because there's a there's a mac and cheese recipe in there I really want to try. I've tried a lot of mac and cheese recipes. I am a mac and cheese enthusiast. And I haven't found the dream yet. I haven't found the perfect one. So, and I think it's just a matter of I, I'm too cheap to put expensive cheese every time I make mac and cheese. And I think you need, like, the good cheese to make it, like, really, really good. I don't know. Nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of that. Need some cloves for the pie. Have you ever tried a sweet potato pie? I prefer sweet potato over pumpkin pie. I have never tried a sweet potato pie, but it sounds really good. I love sweet potatoes. I don't know why I've never had that before. It's never, it's never been on any menus or nobody I know has ever made it. Okay, and then like a quarter teaspoon of this. Little scoop, scoop, scoop. Ooh. This is brand new jar and it's very fragrant. I'm a mac and cheese enthusiast as well. Enthusiast. Well, I mean, I feel like connoisseur was too long of a word. I don't know if you can say that you're a mac and cheese connoisseur without people looking at you funny. Okay. So those are the spices. I'm going to like whisk them together a little bit in the bottom of the bowl. I know it's a mixer and it can do this itself, but there's just like a little bit of spices in the bottom of the bowl. And I want to make sure that they get kind of mixed. Although I can't find my little whisk. I have a big whisk, but that's too big. My life is really hard. <laughs> um, does the cookbook have any eggnog saran recipe? It has an eggnog recipe. I prefer blueberry pie or any berry related. There is a pie in here. There's a, um, what's it called? I've made it on the baking stream before. It's a, it's like a blueberry, ras it's a bloodberry tart, but it's like just blueberries and raspberries. It's delicious. It's really good. Um, Mine didn't turn out so good, but that was because I didn't set it properly. It turned out better the second time. Macaroni and cheese and busy. <laughs> oh, my, uh, my pack's all enough. Um, I don't know what the heck I've done with that whisk. Is it in this drawer? Oh, it is in this drawer. I don't know why I didn't check there. Okay. So, that's spices. Our, um, pie crust is pretty much chilled, so I should probably... Preheat the oven. Where'd my, where'd my straw go? Mm. Oh, that's the dream right there. Okay. I'm going to preheat the oven to finding my, my pie recipe again. I've lost it. I need bookmarks. Or at least I need to remember what page it was on. Pumpkin pie. There we go. There's just so many pages in this thing. 375. Now, I have pie weights. I have, um this thing of pie weights, and I've been using these whenever I make pie. Sometimes they stick to the pastry a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to get them off the bottom of it. And I wonder if that means that I didn't pre-bake it long enough? I don't know. Have any of you ever had that? If you could make one recipe from Legion Cooking, what would it be? Legion Cooking. I'm trying to think of the different things. I only know the haste food. <laughs> I only know Sir Mar Surf and Turf and Ashari salad. I don't know what anybody else eats because I've only ever needed haste. Whatever the fish feast is. I love me a good seafood spread. Um, okay. All right, let's roll out the pie dough and uh, trim it over my pie pan. Let's hope we can do this in like three or fewer pieces. <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up my board here. I'm gonna actually, I need it to be dry. I need it to be dry because I don't want too much extra milk getting into it. So let's just like 
Because the only thing that was on here before was pie ingredients. I'm not too worried about like sterilizing it. I just need it to not have like milk on it. There we go. And then my pan over here. So are any of you guys playing Animal Crossing Pocket Camp? <laughs> I know this is a WoW channel. I'm just, I'm just so, I haven't been this excited for a game since like a WoW expansion and I can't explain it. It's not even like a big deal kind of game. It's just, it's Animal Crossing and it's on my devices and it looks really cute. Drog bar salmon. Yes, that sounds amazing. Need to use a paper sheet between the weight and the crust. Oh my God, you're brilliant. Parchment paper. Oh, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> Yep, yep, that's what I need to do. You're right. <laughs> okay, so let's actually, you know what I'm gonna do then? I'm going to pre-trim, I'm gonna pre-trim some parchment because I would want like a circular-ish, eh, actually never mind. I'll, I'll trim it a little bit. I lost my scissors. I put them in the other room. Hang on, I will be, I will be back. I, I, I was, I always chuck like a bunch of stuff onto my coffee table whenever I do the stream so that there's not so much stuff like around. And I think I moved my sister. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. You're playing right now? Yeah. I can't, oh! I can't decide what I want to do for my theme. I, like right now, I'm kind of doing what I do in real life, which is get as many cacti as humanly possible and put them everywhere. So I think that's my plan, but there's so many cute things that don't fit in my cactus theme. I never know. Um, Sir Marfis, don't forget the arc wine. In Belgium at 7.35 p.m. and I, I haven't eaten yet. You should get something. Thistle tea all the way. I wanted it to be switched so much, but I'll take Animal Crossing on my phone. I don't think that this necessarily means they won't do one on the Switch, but I'm very happy with how much of a game the, the phone one is. They very easily could have made it just like a really goofy mini game. Um, like, there are no strangers to putting out Animal Crossing titles that have no gameplay. <laughs> Cough, happy home designer. So, I'm glad that there is stuff to do in this one. And that it feels like I can play it pretty happily for, like, a little bit. Okay. That is a roughly pie plate shaped piece of paper. That'll be close enough. So now, did I take my dough out of the fridge already or was I smart? Oh, I was smart. Good. Okay. We've got weights, parchment, plate, uh, board. I'll get some extra flour just in case I need some. Um, I don't think I'll need a whole lot, but it's good to have like a little scoop on hand. Parchment paper, yeah. Although you might be able to make it work with actual paper, but I feel like putting real regular paper in the oven is always just a little bit of a fire hazard. <laughs> Learned that trick from Chef John of Food Wishes. I've never heard of Food Wishes. I'm kind of on a cooking show um, withdrawal after finishing what was available on Netflix of the Great British Baking Show. Uh, uh, my husband's been watching Zumbo's Just Desserts, but he says it's bizarre and strange. Not quite the same thing. And I haven't seen any of it. What am I looking for? Oh, my dough. Man, I need to affix this somewhere else. I just keep dropping it. It's just a battery pack, but the, the mic doesn't even, it's not even using the battery right now. I want to eat, but I need to go to the store and that's too far. Yo, my life. We live in a magical age where if you can afford it, you can just get like people to bring you food from the store. I only know Hell's Kitchen. You need to watch Food Witches. He's wonderfully entertaining. Love the Great British one. Yeah. It's like, that was, that was the Holy Grail. If I cook, it's worse than you can imagine. Oh no. You know, you can't ever write yourself off to being bad at something forever. I am always trying really hard to never say I can't do something. Instead, I just say I can't do it yet. <laughs> and then what do I need to do in order to be able to do this properly? You just It's not that you can't cook. It's just that you can't cook as well as you want to just yet. That's all. All right, let's roll this out. I see lots of butter chunks, actually so many that I'm starting to think that maybe I should have actually processed it a little bit more. I'm going to make sure that we're not sticking here. I, d I didn't really flour the board. Flour a little bit. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I'm really bad at rolling stuff out into like an even circle, so I always end up patching it together a bit, which is fine. It's not gonna like, it's not gonna be the prettiest pie, but as long as I eat it and it tastes like pie, 
That's kind of all I really want from life. Okay. That is nowhere close to a circle. <laughs> we'll get there. Good night from Cambodia, Hazel. See you later, demon child. Bye. The phone is too far, too. Mm -hmm. Is the Animal Crossing out right now? It is coming. It is out um, for a lot of countries. Um, Japan, United States, Canada, um, probably more. Check your app store. And if you don't see it listed when you search for Animal Crossing, search for Nintendo. Um, and then go to a Nintendo game like Super Mario Run. And then click on Nintendo, I'm just talking about iOS, I don't know about Android, but, and then click on the Nintendo, um, you know, publisher, and then you should see it under their list of games there. It is out early, it was supposed to be out tomorrow, and they dropped it early. This is going so poorly. <laughs> Stay! Ooh. Actually, you know what, it's not that poor. It's not that bad. I'm trying to make it even and fairly thin, not too thin, but thinner. I always, I always, I never roll them out thin enough and they always end up like thick and lumpy and sometimes underbaked on the bottom. So I want to make sure I get it thin enough. There we go. That looks like it's about right. So a little bit of leeway. Actually, let's just put that in here and then we'll trim it. So I heard that what I need to do to move this is I need to fold it and then I could fold it again. I'm just going to try and pick it up. Oh no, I'm sticking. Oh no. Oh no. Come on now. It's okay. It's going to be all right. Oh, so we fold it and then we move it and then you unfold it. And it's like, ah, pastry. This is, this could be better. <laughs> this definitely could be better. All right, well, let's trim the sides of it and then we'll, we'll use our trimmings to patch this up into something that almost covers the head. It came out of my birthday? Happy birthday! Oh man. Unless you're Australian, in which case you're talking about getting it back in October, in which case happy very late birthday. Because the, the Aussies have had it for a while now. Oh, and I've been so jealous. And I know I could have just like done the thing where you change your store. I should be trimming this less close. It always shrinks on me. Um, you can do the thing where you... Uh, you switch your store and like download it early, but I just really wanted to start when it was official. I didn't want any risk of losing my data, although I think everybody that's starting early is fine. I don't think anybody's losing their data, but yeah, it's out, it's out. Okay, if anybody wants to add me and like access market boxes and, and approve shovel quarry requests, my um, friend code is on my Twitter. I just tweeted it this morning. I could not tell you what it is off the top of my head. Okay, so that's like mostly looking like a crust. I can't believe I didn't figure out the, um, I'm gonna put some extra onto like, just a little bit extra onto the ridges here just to help it for when it shrinks. But yeah, I can't believe I didn't think of the parchment paper thing. It seems so obvious now. <laughs> oh man, okay, all right. All right, we have, we have pastry. Now, parchment, and then pie weights. Perfect. And then we're gonna pre-bake that for about 15 minutes. So let's just. There we go. And now that it's pre-baking, we can mix up the pie filling. It's a rustic pumpkin pie. Yes, true, true. Let's see if this tastes any good. Ah, that tastes like uh, pastry dough should. I don't need the rest of it. I should have made like some kind of decorative topping. I didn't remember. Is it too late for that? If I like make little uh, leaves or pumpkins or blobs or whatever, can I just like throw them on top of the filling later? Will that bake? I'm gonna try. Unless one of you tells me it's like a really bad idea. I don't know. Oh, there's my flower. It's a little, a little sticky. Cause I have, I have a good little, like I could make like a heart. I could probably, I could probably handle cutting out a heart. I'm not very coordinated. I'm not a terribly uh, delicate artist, <laughs> but I can probably cut out a little pie heart. You know, it might not be a great one. Kitty, what are you sniffing for? What are you sniffing for? You want to be a pumpkin pie cat? 
<laughs> Do you want your own pumpkin pie? Because I won't make you one. You don't eat people's food. Did I drop a piece of dough? She's looking at me like, no. No. Nothing to see here. All right. Family, friends, food. These are what matter most. Egg wash. Make sure they're about a quarter inch thick at most. Okay. I have... All right. So thin. Thin, 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 thin. Oh, you know what I should do? You know what would be easier than the heart? Although a heart would be cute. A heart would be cute, but I could do little strips and I could like lattice them. Or I could just do a heart. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Aileen, how are you doing? I think I want a heart. I'm going to freehand a heart over here. This is going to be a really wonky heart and it's probably going to get wonkier in the oven. All right, well, I, I did have a heart really well. If I was using software, I could just replicate it. But then again, if I could, if I could do things like that, then my eyeliner would never be lopsided. And that's just not how we live life. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? That is a nice heart. I am proud of that. Let me, let me show you. Let me scoop it up. And then egg wash. Yes, I think it wanted me to do an egg wash. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. I did that. All right, well now I have a lot more dough. <laughs> you should do a nut. I should do a nut. Oh, I don't trust my, I don't trust my carving skills well enough to do a nut. I guess I could do little, um, I kind of want to do little strips. I want to make like a little border maybe. Let's, let's make little, I want to, I have all these ideas that I'm never going to be able to cut out. Um, I want to do little, uh, like, like a lined board, like a, like a, like a half inch thick border line, but it's a circle. So it would be like little circular bits, but not in one whole thing. Like I want it in little chunks, like a dotted line, like a half inch thick dotted line around the edge. I'm never, ever going to be able to do that. Let's just make some, let's just make some little bits. Let's just do little slicey bits and we'll just throw those on top wherever they fit. And I think that'll be kind of cute. And also more pastry is always what I want. So, <laughs> okay. So we have some bits, trim them a little bit. There we go. Pastry bits. Okay. So does it, what does it say about egg wash? It doesn't. Oh, maybe it does. Reserve the remaining egg on the filling. If you're using a decorative crust design, brush a little egg on the crust. Okay. So for the egg wash, do I want to um, mix together a whole egg, like yolk and white, or is this just egg white? Good job, pastry lettuce. <laughs> what are your Thanksgiving plans with this pie? I mean, it's only Tuesday, so I'm probably just going to eat it like tonight and tomorrow. We are heading up to see the in-laws on Thursday. So if this goes really well, maybe I make another one tomorrow night. We bring that one up there, but this one's not going to live that long. Use the extra dough, add cinnamon and sugar for pie dough cookies. Oh, I think I need to move on with my, with, with my day at this point. Um, I need to figure out the egg wash thing. So I should egg wash them once they're on the pie or should I egg wash them now? I don't know anything. I don't know how to do any of this. Oh, I just want it to be cute and delicious. Both? All right, so I'm assuming that you mean both um, the egg yolk and the white or just the yolk if you have those around. I don't, um, I'll probably just use a whole egg. Let's, okay. Do I do it now or do I do it once it's on the pie? On the pie, use the whole egg. Okay, on the pie, whole egg. That's the plan. Good. Let's mix up the filling because that is going to be done pre-baking in like 10 minutes and it's going to take me that long to make the filling. So, um, uh, honey. So I need to put in a half a cup of honey and then uh, two eggs. Two eggs. It wants me to save just a little bit of the two eggs for this. It doesn't want me to do like a whole extra egg. But I need to mix up the filling now. I'm gonna start with the honey because that's easier. <laughs> so half a cup of honey. We're gonna mix with one of these guys. Where'd my half cup go? There we go. I need to make an apple pie now. I have never made an apple pie and I want to so bad. Like baked apples are just so tasty and it looks easy, but I know it's not easy. And that makes me wanna do it. Okay. I wanna be a pie master because in my opinion, pies are vastly superior to cakes. I don't really enjoy cake. I'll eat it if it's around and if it's going to be rude for me to not eat the cake, but it's just like, yeah, it's cake, you know, it's fine. It's cake, whatever. But pie, you know, don't, don't, don't play with me with pie. Dutch apple. 
Is Dutch apple when it has cheese, or am I thinking of the American thing? Hey, Hazel, love you and your videos. Keep up the good work from Denmark. Thank you! I want to try and say your name, but I don't want to do it wrong and I'm scared. I have so much Thanksgiving prep to do, I ain't cooking a darn thing until Thursday. So are you just going to be cooking like all day on Thursday then? That's such a day. Do you have people to help you with it at least? My grandmother used to do that, like she would spend all of Thanksgiving cooking, but she would have like all of the women of the family um, in the kitchen helping her like all day, so it was like a, it was like a special family cooking thing. Crust is the hardest. Yeah. I don't really know how to measure half a cup of honey without having it all stick to this thing, so we're just going to YOLO here. Ooh, do, 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 go, go, oh boy, oh boy. Well, there's some extra there, but some of it is going to stick to the cup like I was saying, so this is probably going to work out okay. I need to remember to clean that up before I put it away, though. Love me some blackberry cobbler. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And peach cobbler or um, apple crisp. It's not like an apple pie, but it's like apple crumble, you know? You're just making me want to go home for Christmas. It hurts. Okay. That's some amount of honey. I feel like there's way too much honey still in this thing. But it's fine. Take cherries, add amaretto to let them soak overnight, and then make cherry pie. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to make me so hungry. 29 pounds of standing rib roast rolls stuffing. 29 pounds? How many people are coming? <laughs> pie over cake any day, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. I have, I will still respect and be friends with people that would choose cake over pie because that means more pie for me. Same thing with the whole waffles versus pancakes batter. I'm team waffles all the way, but it's not like I'm not going to hang out with you if you like pancakes. One of ten, how hyped are you for Antorus? Oh, Whew. I miss my guild, I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Um, so I would say probably a solid seven. I haven't raided in a while, so I need to raid again to remember that I like raiding. <laughs> my absolute favorite pie. As a kid it was cherry pie, now I'm not so sure. Don't get me wrong, a good cherry pie is still like top notch, but... Um... Anything with peaches in it is a very easy sell for me. Peaches are, in my opinion, the superior of the fruits. And like a good peach pie, it's good stuff. Okay, so let me put away the honey. And we also need to add, I think, pumpkin and then condensed milk. Is that the idea? Um, pumpkin, evaporated milk, and then stir gently. Okay, oh, and I need to add the eggs. I'm just going to add both eggs here and then I'll use a different... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Okay. Uh, do I have two eggs here? Uh, where is my guild? Uh, Lightbringer. We're on Lightbringer. We're not recruiting though, so please, please don't server transfer to join the guild because you will not, you will not get in. We're definitely not open. Oh boy. So two eggs. There we go. If this guild ever stops raiding and like completely falls apart, which I don't know if they would because they've been around for a while, but a lot of them have kind of enjoying more other games more than WoW. If the guild ever like stops raiding, I'm considering the idea of running a raiding guild. But I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of work. Chocolate cream pie is my favorite. Ooh. A, a tiny rubber spatula to get the honey out of the cup. That probably would have been a good idea. What if that's my blizzard plushies? Hang on. Let me let me see. Um. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on with my life for now. Freshly made pecan pie. I was thinking about pecan pie. That was like on the list. Okay, so let's, let's combine this. I need to keep moving here. Combine this. And then we add the pumpkin followed by the evaporated milk and we're going to stir it gently. Pumpkin first. Rip headphone users. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what I can, uh, I'm, I guess I can like lean that shoulder back away from the food processor. Hazel, you were supposed to be saving for a house, not ordering more plushies. I mean, I'm saving for a house in that I only ordered two plushies and not the like five that I originally had in my cart. <laughs> I got the shadow and the elec. And I did not get the Raptor, and I did not get the Pachamari, and I didn't get the Azura Whelpling or the Snowfang Frostwolf Cup either. So I'm counting that as 
close enough. The Alec plushie might not ever be available ever again. Who knows? What if I just couldn't get one? After all of that awfully big adventuring. Okay, so I need all of this in here. Pumpkin in a can just looks like cat food. It just looks exactly like cat food. Oh boy. There we go. Server transferred to join a Hazel Run guild. Running a guild just sounds so scary. Like, I'm very, very non confrontational and I don't know how to deal with interpersonal conflict. And I think that knowing how to do that and like mediate is an important part of being a guild leader. Like, if two, if two guildmates had a problem with each other, I don't know what to do. for you guys that know about pies. Um, so it called for two tablespoons of almond meal, which I cannot add. Should I add like some cornstarch or some flour to help it like thicken instead of almond meal? Is that what the almond meal is supposed to do? Uh, you kick them, both of them. <laughs> I see you picked the right color, girls in blue. Uh, Thunderdome, make them fight to the death. <laughs> Yeah, have them duel, and then whoever loses gets kicked. <laughs> that would be so bad. Oh, man. All right, that looks like it's done. Mediating is the roughest part. Our guild has about six of us designated when the master's not around. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a multi-person job, but you got to be careful with officers, too, because you want to make sure you have officers you can trust, and then you've got to have a plan in place for if an officer, like, goes rogue. I don't know. I worry too much. I definitely worry too much. Um, Matt Gora. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to go back to Alliance, but all my friends play horror. That's a real struggle. It's a real struggle. You guys get so, so many cool, um, I mean, everybody gets cool allied races, but you guys get really cool allied races. You get Sandalory Trolls. I'm just going to Google if I can sub anything for almond meal. Because I want to make sure that if I should add like a tablespoon or so of like cornstarch or flour or something that I that I do. Um, substitute. Because I feel like last time it had some slight problems. It's not almond flour. You can use flour, okay. So I might add like a tablespoon of flour. I've never cooked with almond meal before, but I think some cornstarch or cream of tartar. I'm gonna go with one and a half tablespoons of flour and then a pinch of cream of tartar. And we're gonna, oh, tartar is scary. Tartar is scary. What if it gets weird? We're just gonna wing it. We're gonna, we're gonna start with some flour. Actually, I have a little bit of flour here. Let's just add that. And then, a literal pinch of cornstarch. If this goes terribly wrong and like thickens really weird, you guys will know why. Okay, I think my pre-bake is done, so let's get that out of the oven. I'm gonna put my towel over here so I can like get my pie weights out onto that. Turn the fan on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I have a crust. I'm going to, am I done with the filling? Is that ready? Yeah, it is, okay. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna mix up an egg wash, just like one egg, and I'm going to brush the crust, and then I'll use the rest of it on that stuff, and then we're gonna assemble it, and then I think we put it in the oven. So let me, let me get another egg. I think I put the eggs away. Bowl or a big bowl, any kind of bowl. 
I'm a high school teacher, so mediating is part of my job. That must, that must be quite a job. That must be an experience and a half. I could not do that. Oh, man. Next X pack info, Malfurion burned down Telder, so I'm trying to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Does that mean, and he probably tried to pin it on Nomi, because he would. I just want to avoid off Paladin. Aren't you out of luck? I thought you couldn't be a Void off Paladin. You could be a Light Forge Granite Paladin tomorrow. We work on the three strike rule. That seems fair, that seems fair. I feel like giving people second chances is important. Third chance is iffy. What did I do with that whisk? I had it. <laughs> I can't hang on to that whisk to save my life. Did I wash it? Did I put it in here? Did I put it in here? I did, okay. Lightforge? Uh, yeah, no, I know. I, I, I'm with you there. You can't be a Dark Iron Dwarf Pelton, can you? Because if you could, that would be dope. That would be so cool. Okay, so... Whisk up a little bit of egg. Forgot to buy tea today. Oh, no! What kind of tea do you like to get? I got a new tea yesterday? Was it the day before? Um, I never tried it before. And it's a sticky rice... I posted about this on my Instagram. It's a sticky rice um, shoe pour. And it's so good. It's so nice. I was looking... Like, I've been needing a good afternoon tea. I tend to work really slowly in the afternoons unless I have, like, a really good tea with, like, really good energy. And this one just does it. Although, today, that probably means more energy for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. But I am going to try and get a Pilgrim's Bounty video out, you know? The dream is a Pilgrim's Bounty video out today. The VOD of this out tomorrow, and then... On tomorrow, I make the Agrimar guide to go out on Thursday while I'm out of town. I don't know if the dream's gonna be true, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so I have my brush because we got one of those. And we have this. Filling over here. Get this out of the way. I'm making such a big mess. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna put the whole thing onto a big tray because I always spill. And if I spill, I would rather not have to clean up my oven. <laughs> I know there's a thing you can do where you, like, fill this in the oven. But I'm not going to do that because I spilled last time I did that, too. Okay, so we're going to brush this. Should I just brush the edges of it, right? I don't need to brush the bottom because there's going to be pie filling there. So just, like, a little bit, a little bit on the edges up here. Just around the perimeter, as it were. And then, we've got our pie filling, and we're going to fill it up, and this is probably going to be too much, because it always is. Oh, it's, it looks like a pumpkin pie now, though. And, not too full. And then, my heart, my little pastry heart, goes right in the middle. Woof! It floats! It floats! And then I have my little strips, which are kind of sticking. I'll see if I can get, if I can show you guys before I put it in the oven what we're looking at here. You can you can go on a flying camera trip and I will try my best not to break it this time. Okay. There. 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 Do, 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 do. Oh no, I can't sing. Never mind. It's YouTube. Whoops. Okay. Alright, it's beautiful. Alright, let's go. Let's let's fly. I'm holding on to the thing. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check that out. Okay, so I'm going to brush it, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Okay. Just a little bit. So I'm trying very hard to brush it without sinking it. Because they're, they're very light, and the feeling is pretty thick. But I feel like I could very easily sink it. All right. Close enough. Close enough. We're going in. We're going in. Very carefully. Alright, it hasn't spilled. That's a good sign. That oven was open for half an hour, but that's fine. Um, 40 minutes? 40 minutes until the filling is mostly set and the crust is a darkening golden brown. And then we have to remove it and then we have to allow it to fully cool. Norma is at work. Welcome, late night. Um, we don't really cook that in Sweden. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's not like an, I mean, it can be a very sweet dessert, but it doesn't have to be overly sweet. 
My mom's best friend makes the best pumpkin pie I've ever had. It's super creamy. No, the travel form is a raptor, but did they say what the other forms will look like? They didn't. I'm assuming that they're going to be similar to the regular troll travel forms or the regular troll um, animal forms, but maybe just like, you know, altered a little bit. Did you brush the egg wash on? I did. I did. I didn't do a super thorough job because I was very afraid of sinking the little bits, but um, an effort was made. The game is adorable. I'm hooked already. Are you talking about pocket camp? I can't even with pocket camp right now. Um, take away the towel in the oven. Start to burn. Uh, I've heard that you can have problems with like exploding oven doors if you're burn if you're baking like a turkey, um, like something that's gonna be in there over like eight hours. The filling will liquefy when it heats. Those crust pieces will likely sink. Okay, well there'll be um, surprises for later. <laughs> they will be mid pie crust surprises. Sent you a friend request and crossing is as kind of steep. If you still have room, already hooked. I almost certainly have room. I will get you after the stream. I downloaded Pocket Camp just for you, Hazel. Thanks, Aileen. I think I think you might like it. It's really cute. I, I like catching the fish. I just got done playing South Park Stick of Truth. It makes me laugh so hard. That was a funny one. So what am I doing right now? I feel like I had a thing I was going to do. Oh, I was going to check the door. Hang on. Well, that's just dog food. We don't need to see me unbox that. <laughs> oh, man, so when are we going on a date? I mean, we're probably not. I'm pretty married. I'm, like, really married. They're making us all lose our lives coming to Christmas with this app. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have... It's going to be a struggle. I'm going to definitely, um, you know, be present with my family and enjoy Thanksgiving. But the car, the car trip, though, it's going to be a very long drive there. And that'll, that'll be something. That'll be something for sure. Anyways, um, this has to bake for like 40 minutes and I'm not allowed to cut into it until it's done. So I think we're going to be done. I think that I should get started on the Pilgrim's Bounty thing. I say that, I'm about to go play pocket camp, but I think I should, you know, try and get on to work. Um, I will post on Instagram some pictures of the pie when it is done so you can see if it holds together or not and, uh, and see if the, the heart sunk. <laughs> but thank you guys for hanging out with me this morning. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll be streaming on Friday. I should be back on Friday. I should be back to stream on Friday and uh, doing some normal WoW stuff. And I'll be, uh, maybe we'll do like a poll as to what we'll do on the stream then. I guess I'm just stuck in gold track forever. Oh no. How long have you been married? I think it's about three years, somewhere in there. I, I, it's not long enough for me to have lost count, but it's been a while. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye.